Good morning, my dear parents and students. And a very warm welcome and good morning to our chief guest, Mr. Joshua David and uh, our own alumna, uh, alumnus and uh, guest of honor, Dr. Prabhu Charan, um, for uh, gracing us today. And uh, they will share their keynote addresses with us. And I think you will, um, you'll be inspired by the same. I would, you know, um, and, um, uh, you know, good morning to all my colleagues who are present here today. And um, I'd like to talk a little about what makes you successful in this campus. So it's my perspective after observing so many VITNs come in and go. First of all, I think you, many of you are going to be stars and leaders. And I say this because in your own domains, because you're from VIT, just because you're from VIT, you will stand head and shoulders above the rest. Now, why is that? Is it the name that will carry you? Or is it something else? The name may get you to some distance, but it's actually the skills that you develop, the personality that you nurture in this campus that will make you a star, a leader, or a special someone. So I think most of it is in your hands. We are here to guide you, facilitate you, but a lot of it is in your hands. So let, let's, let's spend a little bit of time on what will make you, what can make you successful on this campus. First, attitude is very important. Yes, every day is an opportunity. Now, every day will bring you some pleasant stuff and not so pleasant stuff, I can guarantee you that. Maybe I can guarantee you the not so pleasant stuff, surely. But it's how you tackle those challenges how you meet them, how you learn from them, and how you change your ecosystem that matters. And I urge you to be positive thinkers and have a positive attitude, because with positive attitude, we can all win as a team. Okay? And uh, I realize that, by, by show of hands, can I know how many are you from Velo, please? Only the students? Okay, nearby places around Vellor. Okay, all right, thank you so much. Um, so a lot of you are from Vellor and nearby uh, places of Tamil Nadu. Um, so, you know, I think we love our language Tamil, don't we? Yes, we do. But VIT gives you an opportunity to learn a lot more languages. You can learn many, many, many Indian languages and some foreign languages. And most importantly, I urge you to hone your English. This is an English medium school. Yes, we are in Tamil Nadu, but this is an English medium college. So uh, to be successful, you really need to master your English. So if you have any gaps there, I would start today. And, and we will facilitate you. It's not that you're on, you're on your own. If you need a formal English course, we will provide that. So um, do not hesitate in addressing, you know, in acknowledging the gaps that will require you to be a successful student. Acknowledge that and ask for help. We are there to facilitate that. That's most important. And team building is a powerful thing that will stay with your life, regardless of discipline. By discipline, I mean, you know, whether it's mathematics, physics, chemistry, biotechnology, whatnot. But team building is something that when you master, is going to hold you for the rest of your life. This is what will make you successful in your careers as you go. I'm not going to talk, in, uh, talk about virtues in uh, any particular order. I'm just going to speak of them as they come to my mind. Integrity is highly valued in our campus, and so it is in the rest of the world. 
when when you go you know when you start something on your own or when you work for somebody or when you engage in any kind of productive activity integrity is highly valued right you cannot work in silos you'll be working with a team you'll have bosses you'll have managers you'll have customers the only way you can succeed among all is through integrity now integrity is not something that you're going to build all of a sudden hopefully you've been nurturing it through your foundational years also but here's another chance for you to show your integrity and how does um, i i mean you can give a lot of definitions to integrity but one popular definition is integrity is who or what you are when no one's looking okay so i'm i'm just going to step back a few decades a few decades ago when i was a student there were many good students and there were some mischievous and uh, uh students that you know uh, engaged into say ragging or eve teasing or disruptive behaviors right and one thing in those days is they couldn't hide anywhere am i right i mean you know you could even if they um tried they couldn't be anonymous now in today's world there's a misconception that you can actually be mischievous behind the scenes and be anonymous now if you think you can actually be anonymous you're dreaming i need you to show that you're a good human being online and offline i need you to be good on the social media i need you to be good on facebook or twitter or whatever social media you're using these days okay why i say this is a lot of maybe not a lot some of you think that you can harass each other online or you could do some things you can post negative remarks and get away with it just because you think you're anonymous you're not you're not anonymous okay people can very easily find out who you are please do not engage in those behaviors if not for getting caught if not for the fear of getting caught do it for the sake of decency okay refrain from dis- disruptive behaviors for the sake of decency okay discipline is very important on this important on this campus because in discipline we thrive why do we want the discipline in order to be able to serve each other well yes so it makes our jobs easier and your lives easier, uh, easier. and yes we don't take bad behavior easily you know there will be you know repercussions and consequences i, I i'm trying to refrain uh, from using the word punishment but if you understand that but better yes there will be punishments for bad behavior so please and and what's bad behavior my my, my 6 year old asked me today when i said be good sweetie she said what's good and bad <laughs> so i was taken aback and i told her um what do you think i asked her what do you think and then she said amma i think good is something that benefits others and bad is something that hurts others then i thought that's as good a definition as any yes so we don't want to hurt each other we want to be good to each other but i'll extend that definition that she gave me this morning a little bit more i think good is something that benefits others and yourself so i'm going to include you in that and bad is something that hurts you and others so you may be smoking and thinking it doesn't hurt anybody but it hurts you so it's bad it's bad for me as well because it hurts you okay so yes please please refrain from all kinds of substance abuse alcoholism smoking anything else weed and whatever you call it these days but you know we don't take that kindly if you have such habits that you're unable to get rid of see your counselors talking about counselors we have a very good team of counselors who will be your friends and your mentors and your guides whenever you need them there's a great healthcare center on campus for any physical ailments or fevers or whatever you may have similarly if you're grappling with some situations that are tough to deal with there are counselors and do not do not hes- hesitate to seek out the help of counselors if i have a fever i go to a doctor 
So if I have a mental agony that I'm facing or a psychological trauma, why shouldn't I go to a counselor? It's all the same. It's all the same. Okay? So our counselors are available to you any time of the day, any time of the night even if you need them. And you've got mentors in your faculty members. We call them proctors. And I request all the proctors to kindly take care of their wards. And I request all the students, the wards, to know your proctors, keep in touch with them, utilize their knowledge, um, and utilize their guidance. And I request the parents also to keep in touch with the proctors. Through a good partnership between the parents and the proctors, your students will have the best life ever, here and outside. You know, while studying, um, actually, I want to ask you, did you feel, you know, after completing 12th grade, did you have any regret? Did you feel that you could have done better? Yes? How many felt that way? By the show of hands. Yeah, very few. Okay, thank you. Thank you for being brave to admitting that. I'll raise my hand also. Everybody who introspects has some regrets. When we have those regrets, it's important about what we do about them, right? When you have a regret, regret is not a bad emotion. I think it's a biological thing that makes us better. Yeah? What's important is how you take it, how you think of what has happened and how you make yourself better. I, what, why I'm saying it is, you know, I, I'll share how I felt. See, after, um, you know, passing out of 12th standard, I was happy about my performance, but I had many regrets. But then when I got into my bachelor's degree, I thought this is an opportunity to do over. That means, you know, sometimes you feel, right? If only I can go back, if only I can go back and do my math, physics, chemistry better. Well, guess what? You have an opportunity to do over. Think of this, think of your integrated master's program as that opportunity to do over. All that you learned from your regrets, all that you have envisioned for yourself in your dreams, all, let all that come true here on this campus. Okay, now, how many burnt the midnight oil? How many are in the habit of studying in the last minute? Please? Okay, all right, I once had that habit, I, I admit, but one thing I realized and I want to share that with you is, you're not going to eat all at once for a week or a month or six months. Are you going to do that? No, you're gonna eat daily three times. Yes? Why? We need that. You can't digest everything if you eat one big meal. You know? Similarly, knowledge is like that. Knowledge is not acquired by cramming before the, your cats or fats or whatever, you know? So, you know, before your exams, okay? Before your exams, if you cram, you get nothing out of it. You may get some marks, but you know what, marks is not the thing that you should be caring about. You should be caring about the knowledge. When you have the knowledge, marks automatically come. Okay, so study a bit every day, study regularly. If you're, if you're um, just after marks, you can cram. If you're after knowledge, if you're after critical thinking, you're after uh, good decision making, then I need you to study every day. If you're after knowledge, the only way is to study regularly. Okay? And when you do that, it becomes so easy. You have time for other things. You know, you want to have time to party with friends. You want to have time for extracurricular activities. You can do all that if you plan your day well. If you don't, then you'll be missing out on a lot of things. So I don't want that to happen to you. Your physical health is as is important as your mental health. So please eat regularly as well. You know, don't want you to sp skip your breakfast. Yeah, my class is starting. So, you know, and I had a late night. So I'm just going to 
get up and run to the class. No, please do not do that. Please have your breakfast. Please eat well and please sleep well. You don't have to, uh, you know, study too late into the night. You can study a little late into the night, but too late into the night in order to get ahead. You just don't have to do that. Take care of your health. Balance things well. Balance your mental health, physical health and your uh, studies well. Then you come to me and say how successful you are. Okay. So I wish to see a lot of you in the next few years. You can always reach out to me, your deans, directors, faculty members, counselors, and healthcare center, whatnot. And um, I also want to acknowledge the huge army that is behind you. There is an army of people that got you here today. And, and there's a bigger army that is going to train you, coach you, and get you out of this institution. So I want to thank all of my colleagues for doing that for you. With that, thanks. I end today's note. Thank you.